Welcome to Brother Owl's Garden. My name is Brian. I honor your presence here today. We have just a short and sweet topic today, but it's very, very important. It's something to remember vividly all the time. And it's profoundly simple, yet simply profound. And this is the matter of grounding, energetic grounding. You may also say anchoring or tethering or centering. The reason why grounding is so important is because we are essentially spiritual transceivers. We are individuations of the divine. We are little antennas in, in that sense of how we function. So we are individuated transceivers. We transmit and we receive. That's what a transceiver is, two-way. And we're definitely that. So before you begin any spiritual endeavor, any spiritual practice, um, meditation, praying a rosary, um, doing chanting, doing Reiki, uh, doing affirmations, uh, chanting on your mala, whatever you're doing, and most especially praying for someone, I would say, it is crucial that you first tend to your grounding or your anchoring or your tethering or your centering, whichever word you prefer. And this is an energetic stabilization and attuning. And so the reason why you want to do that is to be more spiritually stable, receptive, open, and efficient as a conductor of energy as well. This will make your spiritual action more powerful and more pure and more effective, more direct and, and stabilized. So the way that I do it, if like if I'm going to do a Reiki session or I'm going to pray for somebody or any of those things, um, what I do is I either speak aloud while envisioning or sometimes I'll just envision it because you, your, your, your imagination, your imagination, your imagination is where you create visions of reality. It's, it's where you create seeds of what will be. Um, and so in, in that state, whether I speak it aloud or only envision it, I will say, I ground the energetic core of my being to the energetic core of the earth. Another way of saying it is, I anchor myself to the energetic core of the earth. I am attuned. Okay, this kind of a thing. What you want to do when you are grounding is to definitely visualize your being, the interdimensional, multifaceted, multifrequency being that is you, soul, mind, body, etc. Visually connecting, you can imagine a silver cord, you can imagine whatever works for you, but visualize the connection of you to the energetic core of the earth. You know, if a, if a car won't start and they, they jump start it with jumper cables, you can't do it unless that black clip is clipped onto the ground, the grounding terminal. If it's not grounded, it's, it's all out of whack. So you need that grounding. You know, one half is the grounding, the other half is the engaging of the, of the, of the deed and the energy surrounding it. So there you go. Before you pray, before you chant, before you uh, use your mala, your rosary, before you do Reiki, before you do Tai Chi, before you do whatever it is you do, yoga, anything, anything that is rooted in spirit, you should consciously, momentarily, take a moment and visualize and, and declare your energetic grounding to the energetic core of the earth and from there proceed with whatever ritual you're performing whatever deed you're doing this is the importance of grounding i hope that it is meaningful and useful to you 
Thank you for stopping by today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And always remember to abide in thankfulness for your highest good in the most benevolent outcome of the divine will.